Hi you guys, this video is on your Comparing Real Numbers Alex assignment. So I have just picked a few questions to go over with you. Um, remember, like always, these are similar to questions that you're going to see in your Alex assignment. The numbers will just be different, okay? So question number one, uh, use less than, greater than, or equal to compare the following numbers. So this is pretty self-explanatory. These should seem really easy for you. Um, 7 is bigger than negative 5, negative 1 is bigger than negative 12, and negative 4 is bigger than negative 7. This right here is something that you are going to need to be able to do on your test for this unit. Okay, so heads up on that. Um, the next one, order these numbers from least to greatest. Um, remember when we are talking about decimals, these are all decimals, it's really good to just look at the hundredths. Like if we make this a 50, this would be 0.38 and 0.38. Um, if we do that, we can think about it like money, and it helps us to be able to order, okay? Because I know all teenagers understand how to use money. So 6.038, that is our smallest decimal value, okay? And then we've got these two that are pretty pretty similar, but because this one has the one two after the 0.38, that means the 6.38 is just a little bit smaller than the 6.3812. Okay, this one just has a little bit more, and then we would have 6.5. Okay, on the next one, order these numbers from least to greatest, okay? Uh, we have some decimals, we have some fractions, we have some repeating decimals, we have a square root. Um, I'm just going to tell you the square root of 14 is approximately 3.74 positive. Okay. Uh, remember, square root of 14, this would be an example of an irrational number. It actually has a never repeating, never ending decimal. When I stick that in the calculator, um, none of these repeat. Okay, um, so 34 over 50, let's change that to a decimal by taking the 34 and dividing by 50, and that gives us 0 0.68 negative. Okay, so now we can order from least to greatest. Okay, so we have two, we have two that are negative. We have this one and we have this one. And if we were to put these two on the number line, the 0.68 would be to the left of the 0.6 repeating. So it's going to be of less value. So negative 34 over 50 is our very least value. Then negative 0 0.6 repeating. And then we would have our square root of 14 which we said was approximately 3.741, and then we have our 3.85. Okay, let's look at one more example here. Let's compare 9 tenths and 3 fourths. First, write the fractions with the same denominator. So remember, if you are comparing fractions and you want to keep them in fractions, you have to make equivalent fractions for them that have the same denominator. Okay, so our very first step in doing this is we want to find a common denominator between 10 and 4, which is our least common multiple. So if I take 10 and I count by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, that's going to be far enough. And then I count by 4s, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, oh, I found it, okay? This is the smallest multiple that they have in common. It's the least common multiple. That's our common denominator. So our common denominator would be 40, okay? And to get from 10 to 40, we had to multiply by four, so that means nine times four is 36. Um, to get from four to 40, we had to multiply by 10, so 3 times 10 is 30. Now we can compare 36 fortieths to 30 fortieths, and it's very easy to see that this one's bigger. That means that 9 tenths is bigger than 3 fourths. Okay, 
Now, as you're working through your Alex assignment, if you are having any other questions, please come ask me. I am here to help you. I want you to be successful on this. So if you're confused in any way, uh, come ask a question.